Hello world and welcome to Real Cooking at Home. It has been so long since we've uploaded a video and I'm so sorry for our lack of content. I've got a new computer and there's new software and learning how to re-edit all this stuff and I'm just not that smart with that kind of stuff. But we're back now. Tonight we are making a wonderful Italian pasta and it is Bucatini alla Mercatichana. Basically, it is a bucatini pasta with bacon, tomato, and onion. Just that easy. So come over here, let's show you what we need to do to get started. Right here, what I've got is two cans of crushed San Marzano tomatoes. I have got about three quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I've got about three large onions, some red pepper flake, extra virgin olive oil. This is the percatelli or bucatelli. It's the same type of pasta. And this is guanciale. Now, I've made this dish several, several times, and I've always used just bacon, just regular bacon like you buy at the store, at the store thick cut bacon. But this is actually the smoked jowl of the pig. So this is what the Italian recipe calls for is guanciale. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna take this, take my olive oil, I've got my pan here heating, and I'm just gonna render down this guanciale or this bacon. I'm gonna render this down on medium low to low heat, really slow till it gets good and crispy. Y'all come on back. Okay, well our bacon is rendered down and it's gotten really crispy and it's lost a lot of oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and strain it on paper towels. And in a minute, we're gonna add this back to the sauce that we're gonna be building. And those have rendered down to really good and crispy. Now what I'm gonna do, to the bacon fat, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back up to medium. And I'm gonna take and put in our onions and start sweating our onions down in that bacon grease. To that, I'm gonna add in some red pepper flake. Now your red pepper flake, y'all, you can add as much or as little as you want to. I'm just gonna do about a half teaspoon because I don't want it so hot that we can't eat it. So about a half teaspoon, maybe a little less than a half teaspoon because red pepper flake can get fiery. Okay, our onions is cooked down for about six, seven minutes. They're good and soft. What I'm gonna do now is pour in my tomatoes. Now, y'all, I'm using crushed tomatoes. If you're using whole tomatoes, what you'll wanna do is crush them up with your hands. I tend to like a little bit of body to my tomatoes. You're supposed to really, traditionally, in Italian cooking, you're supposed to pass these through a food meal, but I don't like that because I don't get the body of the tomato, I feel. So I like to use just the crushed tomatoes and add it to this like this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put in about two thirds of the cooked bacon back into this. And I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer and it's gonna simmer away for an hour. Now, at about 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna taste this for season and do my salt and pepper at that time if I need to. So come on back and we'll show you what this looks like after it has cooked for one hour. Okay, our sauce is done. Now about 13 minutes before my sauce actually got finished, what I went ahead and did was drop the pasta in the salted boiling water. And I've gone ahead and drained that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my pasta to this sauce. And I wish y'all could smell this sauce. It smells absolutely amazing in here. So what I'm gonna do is mix my pasta with the sauce. And what I've come to find out, y'all, is I really like to take my pasta and mix it in with the hot sauce and actually let the pasta finish cooking in the sauce because it just really absorbs all the flavor of your sauce brilliantly. So what I'm going to do, that's in, I'm going to take my Parmesan cheese, this is about two, two thirds cup maybe, three quarters cup maybe of Parmesan cheese. Put that in, melt it through, just keep it moving, and it's just about time to taste this wonderful pasta dish. One more thing I'm going to do is take my olive oil, a little bit of olive oil right over the top, and I'm going to serve me up some in a bowl, and we're going to taste it. 
Okay, I'm just putting a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, and I'm ready to taste. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Tomato sauce is so perfect. The porky flavor from the bacon. It's hog jaws, for goodness sake. It's hog jaws. It's got to be good. And the cheese and the onion flavor comes in through. Not overpowering onion, but, but really, really good. Mmm. Well... Thank y'all for watching. I hope you make this dish. Look at real cook it and I'll find something. Just get in the kitchen and cook. We'll see you later. Bye.